What exactly is the one thing we hope Santa Claus brought the Houston Texans? Welcome to the channel. I'm Cody Stutes. Let's talk some Texans. I'll answer that question here in just a moment, but I want to say thank you to everybody who's watching the video. Merry Christmas to you and to yours if you celebrate the holiday. And if you don't, just a happy holidays to you. If you're working today, appreciate you putting in the effort so other folks can have the day off. And if you're not and you're relaxing and resting and decided to watch the video, thank you as well. That's one of the best gifts you could give me. If you want to give me a stock and stuff or throw me a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel as well. Well, what do we hope Santa Claus brought the Houston Texans for Christmas? That one thing that they need to make the playoffs. Well, it's a very simple but somewhat complex thing. It's health. If the Texans are healthy in these final two weeks, they're going to make the playoffs. If they're healthy, they're going to beat the Tennessee Titans at home for their final home game of the season. And then they're going to go on the road and beat the Indianapolis Colts. And if they win both of those games, they'll be in the playoffs. Where exactly? Well, that depends on the results of a couple of other teams. But ultimately, win two and you're going to play in the playoffs. And if the Texans are healthy, they're going to win both of those games. You look at where the Titans and the Colts were coming out of this weekend. Ryan Tannehill played, and the Titans kept it really close at home against the Seahawks team. It's got a banged-up quarterback, didn't play great, didn't run the football well. That felt like the last gasp for a Titans team. It's put a bunch of key players on the IR in the past couple of weeks. And just, if you remember, two weeks ago, could get nothing going against the Houston Texans, and that was with Will Levis, who had played better football this year than Ryan Tannehill. The Titans are coming to town with Ryan Tannehill. Yes, I still worry a teensy tiny bit that Derrick Henry would get going, but if the Texans are healthy, I don't believe that the Titans have any chance to beat the Texans at NRG Stadium on New Year's Eve if, again, the Texans are healthy. If they're not, that door opens a little bit, but it's still not a really impressive Titans team. They are very close to breaking huddles with one, two, three, Cancun, okay, planning their off-season trips here in the final couple weeks of the season. They're not going anywhere. Their off-season is upon them in a hurry. The Colts coming off of their game on Sunday, they were putrid after their first drive. They scored seven points on their first drive. They got a rushing touchdown from Jonathan Taylor, and they scored three points the rest of the game against the Atlanta Falcons, a Falcons team that has been up and down all year long. Now, ultimately, they forced Atlanta to kick a tremendous amount of field goals, but they allowed Gardner Minshew to get sacked six times in that game. They couldn't protect him. They couldn't regularly run the football. Michael Pittman is still in concussion protocol, dealing with some issues. So the Texans, again, are healthy. They should take care of business against the Indianapolis Colts in two weeks uh, in the first game of the 2024 slate for the Texans. So health. Now, who are the key players that need to get healthy here in the coming weeks? So the biggest one is C.J. Stroud. C.J. Stroud has got to clear concussion protocol and play for this team. I will not pick the Texans to win unless C.J. Stroud plays in the next two games. I don't believe in Case Keenum if he starts. And Davis Mills, while I believe he's better at this point than Case Keenum physically because he can move around a little bit more and he can sling the ball better than Keenum right now, I still don't know that I love the chances of him winning both of those games if C.J. Stroud can't play. Now, reports are from KPRC that C.J. Stroud's getting better. D'Amico Ryan's revealed that Friday C.J. Stroud was in the building, went to meetings, visited with the team at practice. Two weeks, it's not unusual, unheard of for players to take two weeks to clear concussion protocol. It happens. Now, the NFL will tell you the average time is nine days, but sometimes it takes longer, two weeks, and C.J. Stroud could be back against the Titans. He's got to be back for the Texans to make the playoffs. I do not believe they'll win both of those games with the combination of Case Keenum and Davis Mills. So if Stroud's back, that gives me a lot of ease and calms a lot of the nerves here in the final two weeks. It raises the floor of the offense. It adds a mobility aspect to the quarterback spot where Stroud can move around out of the pocket, escape some of the pressure that the offensive line has been allowing in recent weeks, that is something that Davis Mills, Case Keenum cannot regularly do. And you can just do more with C.J. Stroud. He's a better quarterback than both of those guys. But it's not just C.J. Stroud from the health standpoint that I'd really like to see the Texans get back. 
and have available to play in the final two weeks. Two of the defensive linemen, specifically two defensive ends, are really important players in the coming weeks. Jonathan Gennard left the Browns game with an ankle injury. He tested it out for what felt like two quarters on the sideline. Ultimately, he went from questionable to out. That's something that we've got to monitor in the coming weeks. You need Grenard for at least one of these games. And if Will Anderson could come back in one of these two games or for both of these games, the Texans had no pass rush when Jonathan Grenard went out of this game. And I know that they got things going against the Titans a couple weeks ago without Will Anderson, but that's because they had Jonathan Grenard. The defensive tackles, though I like what Sheldon Rankins and Malik Collins have put together this season, they can't do it by themselves, and they can't do it with primarily backups at the defensive end spot. The Texans have got to get one, if not both, of those defensive ends back for at least one of these games. And certainly, should they play a playoff game, certainly got to have them back for the playoffs if they plan to make some noise. So those three players get a little healthy. If the Santa Claus magic dust is the delivery, the present, and you sprinkle some magic dust on Will Anderson's lower body injury, and you sprinkle some magic dust on Jonathan Grenard's ankle, and C.J. Stroud's feeling better because he drank the leftover milk and ate the leftover cookies that Santa left, and he's feeling good. I feel great about the Texans' chances those final two weeks. If you get two out of those three players back, I feel pretty good about the Texans' chances just because of who the opponents are in those matchups. And if it's just C.J. Stroud, while I don't love – the situation that the Texans are in, I still feel good because they'll walk into both of those games with the quarterback advantage. And I do not believe we will see D'Amico Ryan's defense get picked apart by whatever the Titans run out there at quarterback and this version of Gardner Minshew on the Colts. I know what Gardner Minshew did in week two of the season. We came off the bench cold as ice and still picked the Texans apart. I get that. I certainly understand that. But I don't believe he's going to do that again to the Houston Texans in Week 18. And the Texans, with C.J. Stroud, should be able to take care of the Colts and the Titans with Stroud. And one of the defensive ends we talked about, certainly feel good about it. And if all three of those players, Will Anderson, Jonathan Grenard, and C.J. Stroud are playing, man, go ahead and start trying to figure out the different permutations and opponents for the playoffs could be the Miami Dolphins in Miami. If Jacksonville loses one of these final two games, it could be hosting those Cleveland Browns yet again in the playoffs. Wouldn't you like another crack at them with C.J. Stroud at the helm? No, I wouldn't. I would much rather play somebody else in the playoffs. But if that's the case, you play who's on the schedule. You play who the seeds determine you're going to play, and you just get in the tournament and see how it goes. And you're going to get in the tournament because – Guys are going to stay healthy because hopefully old St. Nick wearing his battle red outfit with his deep steel blue boots and his Liberty white beard delivered everything the Texans need to be healthy here in the final two weeks. Appreciate you watching the video here on the holiday. Merry Christmas to you and your family. If you celebrate happy holidays to you, if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you've had a relaxing and fun day because the Texans certainly did not provide a relaxing and fun game on Sunday. I bet you, though, these last two are going to be very fun football games to watch. And my goodness, here we are in December, less than a week left in the year, less than two weeks left now in the regular season. And we're talking about the playoffs and the Houston Texans. How fun is that? We've got so much more to talk about right here on the channel so subscribe to the channel like this video if you haven't already get in the comment section let me know what you got for christmas okay what'd you get for christmas let me know in the comment section and you believe that there's something else the texans need to make the playoffs throw that in the comment section too we stay live in the comment section here on youtube appreciate you watching the video hope you enjoyed it and i can't wait till we talk texans again soon